Tutoring platforms have really taken off, especially during and after the COVID era. A tutor booking platform is a handy way for students to connect with the right tutors for their learning needs. Tutors list their services, while students can search for them, choose the right one, and schedule a session all in one place. In fact, it's pretty convenient to find a tutor with just a few clicks. So, whether you're an educator looking to expand your online reach or an entrepreneur planning to create a well-designed tutor booking marketplace, we've got you covered. In this video tutorial, we'll walk you through the entire process of building a tutor booking platform on WordPress, from installation and customization to monetization. We'll be using MeetingHive, a clean appointment booking WordPress theme, and HivePress, a multi-purpose WordPress directory plugin that will take care of all the booking and marketplace functions. Let's start! First, we need to install the theme. Go to the Appearance, Themes, Add New Theme page, and click on the Upload Theme button. Select the MeetingHive zip file, then install and activate the theme. Once MeetingHive is installed, you'll be prompted to install recommended plugins, including HivePress. These plugins are essential for getting all the features on your site up and running, so just click on the link to install and activate them. The next thing to do is add different tutoring categories to your platform. This will make it easier for users to browse through dozens of tutors and eventually find the right one. For example, we'll add math, science, language, and history tutors as listing categories. To add a new category, go to the Listings, Categories section. Here, you can name your category, describe it, and choose a suitable category icon. You can also create a hierarchy of categories by selecting the parent one. Once you have finished setting up the category, click on the Add Category button. Remember, by following these steps, you can add as many categories as you need for your tutor booking website. Now, we need to create some custom fields so you can collect and display specific information about each tutor, allowing students to find the right match almost instantly. Essentially, you should add different custom listing fields such as hourly rate, contact info, or subjects taught. For instance, let's create a learning format field so tutors can indicate whether they offer their services online, in person, or both. To create a new listing field, go to the Listings, Attributes section and click Add New. First, write its name. In the Editing section, mark your field as editable to allow tutors to fill it up when they list their service. Then, choose the field type. We'll use the checkboxes field type since there can be several options. Finally, decide if it should be a required field and set your moderation preferences. In the search section, you can turn your field into a search filter so users can filter tutor listings. Let's flag this attribute as filterable so it shows up in the listing filter form. As for the field type, it would also be checkboxes. Finally, in the display section, you can select the template areas where this attribute will be displayed. You can also set its display format using available tokens and choose a suitable icon for it. For example, let's set block, secondary, and page, secondary, as display areas, pick an icon, and put this display format. Once you're done, press publish. After this, an edit options button will appear. We'll follow it to add two learning formats, online and offline. That's it. This field will now show up in the listing submission form. Meanwhile, you can add more fields using this example as a reference. It would be a good bonus if users could see some personal info about the tutor. So, you'll want to create custom fields for tutor profiles too, such as experience or education. The process is the same as for the listing fields. Let's go to the vendors, attributes, add new page, and create the experience field. Just a quick note, in this case, we set the select field type because tutors have to choose only one option. Experience period options are also present. Great job, now let's proceed to the next step. MeetingHive is integrated with HivePress, so you can easily add more features to your platform by installing different HivePress extensions. The theme already includes six of them out of the box, but you can add as many more as you want. For a tutor booking platform, you might want to install extensions like Geolocation which lets users search tutors based on their location, or Social Login which allows users to log in via third-party platforms. To install an add-on, simply click on the Install button and then activate the extension. 
Next, it's important to visit the Hive Press settings section to set everything up exactly as you need it. For instance, in the Listings tab, you can decide whether you want your platform to be single vendor so only the admin can add listings, or multi vendor so tutors can sign up and submit service listings. It can be done by checking or unchecking the listing submission option. Also, you can disable manual listing moderation here. Then, in the Vendors tab, you can enable direct vendor registration, which will allow tutors to sign up as vendors right away. It may be useful if you're aiming for a multi-vendor tutor booking platform since by default, HivePress requires you to add at least one listing to become a vendor. Next, visit the Users tab. Here, you can enable email address verification to ensure all newly registered users aren't bots. Furthermore, you should pay attention to the Bookings tab, where you can set up the booking functionality. Options include allowing syncing with external calendars or enabling time-based bookings. For example, we'll enable time-based booking slots instead of the daily bookings. Finally, note that the number of settings increases with the addition of new extensions. So, for example, if you installed the geolocation extension, a new tab with the same name will appear where you need to set it up. Note that you can choose between Google Maps and Mapbox as map providers, then, you need to insert the API key in the Integrations tab. You can find the detailed guides on setting up geolocation and all the other extensions in the video description. Overall, be sure to review all the settings and set everything up according to your needs. Now, it's time to create a homepage for your tutor booking platform. Meeting Hive is seamlessly integrated with Gutenberg, so we can avoid coding and use blocks to do this. To create a new page, go to Pages, Add New. Start by naming the page Home. Then, write a header text. Now, click the plus icon and type HivePress in the search bar to see all the available HivePress blocks. For instance, let's add the Listing Search Form and Listing Categories blocks. Also, you can tweak these blocks using the Settings column on the right. Let's increase the number of columns. Once you're done, just click Publish. Next, go to Dashboard, Settings, Reading, and choose this page as your home page from the drop-down list. You can also assign the blog page here later when you create it. Now let's visit the newly created home page and check out how it looks. As you see, while the technical elements are all in place, the design still needs some tweaking. To refine the look and feel, click on the Customize button. Let's explore each section to make the necessary adjustments. In the Site Identity section, you can set your site logo, edit the site title and tagline, add a copyright notice, and set the site icon. Let's quickly upload the logo. Select your file, crop it if necessary, and upload. Looks nice! Hit Publish and let's move on to the next section. In the Colors section, you can play around with the primary and secondary colors to get the palette you want. Next, let's add a pleasing header image. Click Header Image, then click Add New and upload the image you wish to use. Once uploaded, click Publish. It's looking even prettier now. Let's continue. In the Menus section, you can customize menus for different areas of your website. For example, let's add the blog page to the header. Make sure you have created a blog page and set it as a posts page, as we did with the home page. Click Create New Menu, give it a name and assign it to Header. Then click Add Items, select Pages, and select your blog page. Now your blog will be easily reachable by your users. Also, if you've enabled direct vendor registration, you need to add a tutor registration form to your site, including the custom vendor fields we created earlier. Click Add Items, Custom Links, and fill in the URL field using this template, your domain slash register vendor. Also, suitably name it. This will allow tutors to register with just a few clicks. Click Publish to save your changes. Let's proceed. The Widgets section enables you to add custom widgets to different areas of your site. These are optional but can be useful for displaying additional content. Next, in the Home Page Settings section, you can set up your Home Page and Posts page, which we've already done. In the Fonts section, you can select from a wide range of font options to suit your website style. 
Lastly, the additional CSS section allows you to add custom code snippets for further customization. Check the description for pre-made PHP and CSS snippets specifically for HivePress. Now, let's revisit the home page. It certainly has a much better look than before. Next, let's create a detailed tutor profile to add a service listing later. To do this, we'll simply follow the registration link created earlier and enter the required information. When everything's filled in, click Save Changes. The profile is published, so let's check if the fields are displayed correctly. If all the required information is present, the tutor can finally add the first listing. To add a tutor service listing, click the List of Service button in the right corner. This will take you to the listing submission page, where you'll see default fields like title and description, as well as the custom fields you added earlier. Additionally, some fields, such as booking options, are added by HivePress add-ons. Remember, you can always customize this submission form to suit your needs. Simply fill out all the required fields, then click Submit Listing, and the listing will then be submitted for review. An admin can review and approve it in the Dashboard, Listings section. As we said, if you prefer not to manually approve listings, you can disable manual moderation in the HivePress settings. Once approved, the listing will appear on the front end. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, everything we need to know about the tutor service is provided here. That means your tutor booking platform is up and running. So, lastly, let's take a look at how the booking process works and make sure it's as easy as possible for users. On the listing page, simply choose the date and time you want and click Book Now. You'll see the confirmation page, where you can review your booking and leave any extra notes you might have. If everything looks good, just click the Confirm Booking button. That's it. A tutor will see this booking, and then you can get in touch. Additionally, tutors can use the Handy Calendar feature to keep track of their availability. They can block or unblock specific dates and times to let users know when they're free. Congrats! Your tutor booking platform is working. However, we would also like to briefly explain how to monetize the platform. Please note that it requires you to install WooCommerce to make payments on your website possible and some of the HivePress extensions. In general, there are two main ways to make money from your tutor booking platform, taking commissions and charging tutors for adding listings and promoting them. The most straightforward monetization model is to charge a percentage of each successful booking made on your tutor platform. You'll need to install the HivePress Marketplace extension, which comes with the Meeting Hive theme. Just download it from your purchase email and install it in the Dashboard, Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin section. Then, visit the HivePress, Settings, Vendors section, where you can set two types of commissions, commission rate, like 10% of the order's value, and commission fee, a flat number like $10. You can also apply commissions to users in the Users tab. They work the same, so you can even charge both parties at the same time. Now, let's discuss the second monetization option. With the HivePress Paid Listings extension, you can create different listing packages and sell them at different prices. For example, you can offer a free package that lets tutors add only one listing and a premium package for those who want to list more. This way, you can charge tutors for adding new listings to your platform. Also, using the same paid listings extension, you can let tutors advertise their services on your platform for a certain fee. First, we need to create WooCommerce products for handling payments. Let's begin by adding a product that will be used to charge tutors for adding new listings. Provide a name, such as Premium Package, set the price, and mark it as virtual. After this, click Publish. Next, follow the same steps to add another product for charging users to feature their listings. Next, let's add some listing packages to charge tutors when they add new listings. Go to Listings, Packages, and click Add New. You can create multiple packages with different restrictions and prices, but for this tutorial, let's create free and premium. We'll start with the premium package. Name the package, add a description, and specify the number of listings allowed. You can also set the listing expiration period. Then, select the corresponding WooCommerce product created earlier for packages. Finally, click Publish. 
In the same way, add a free package without selecting a WooCommerce product. Now, let's test it by going to our website and clicking the List a Service button. After clicking the Submit Listing button, you'll be redirected to the Package Selection page. If you select the Premium Package, you'll be taken to the Checkout page. This is how you can charge tutors for adding new listings. Now, let's set up charging for listings promotions. Go to Dashboard, High Press, Settings, Listings and select our second WooCommerce product to be used for the featured status in the corresponding field. You can also set the featuring period here. After saving changes, you can check how it works. Go to your website, visit the user dashboard, and click on the star icon next to any listing to make it featured. Again, you'll be redirected to the checkout page. Now you're all set to start earning revenue from your tutor appointment platform. And that's about all there is to our tutorial. We hope it was helpful to you and now you know how to start your own appointment booking platform for tutors. Remember, it's never too late to learn. If you are still doubting which theme to choose, you can give Meeting Hive a shot. It's a feature-packed appointment booking WordPress theme that has all the necessary feature right out of the box, so feel free to check it out one more time.